Hello everybody, we are making sweet potato soup today. This is the easiest, most delicious soup you will have this fall, unless I make another one and then that will be equal to it. So let's get started. We're gonna take four sweet potatoes and we're just gonna peel them. We're not just having sweet potato soup. We are going to be dipping the most bomb grilled cheese sandwiches. I like to make my grilled cheese with a little bit of smoked turkey in the middle. So, <laughs> We got one of my kids salivating on the other side of the camera here. I just did like mm, 20 takes so far. I've only gotten through peeling the potatoes because my two-year-old is driving me insane. I just like to slice my sweet potato in half so it can have a flat side. And then I just do kind of thin slices. Slice it down the middle. You're just doing a rough chop because we're gonna roast this all in the oven. By the way, I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Just cut up our red onion. So I'm just slicing this up. Just big chunks. Drizzle olive oil to, to coat it. And now we're just gonna get our hands dirty. We're gonna give it a good toss to make sure all of those veggies are coated in the olive oil. These are just gonna roast together, get nice and brown and toasty in the oven. And then we're gonna throw them in a pot with some chicken stock and just blend it up with an immersion blender. It is so delicious. This is gonna go in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. I just took my sweet potatoes and onions out of the oven. They were in there for about 45 minutes and they're nice and soft and toasty, golden brown. And I'm just gonna scoop all of them and put them into my Dutch oven here. I don't even have this on yet. I'm just transferring. Oh gosh, it's so good. It actually smells like Thanksgiving in this house right now. I have some chicken broth or chicken stock, whatever you have. And again, this isn't on. I'm just going to fill this up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need both of these or just one, so we'll see. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can use a blender, but it's a lot of like scooping and pouring back and everything. I highly recommend immersion blenders. All right, I'm gonna go for it, add the rest of this quart. So that's a total of two quarts. I'm also gonna start turning my burner on to medium. This is blended really nicely, so I'm just gonna let it start to simmer. Here is also where you wanna start thinking about how you wanna season them. Um, remember, we already seasoned it when we were, before we roasted the vegetables, so I'm gonna test it and see, but then I always love to add a little bit of sugar. Sometimes I do brown sugar, sometimes I do regular sugar, and then also I like to add some cinnamon, some nutmeg, or some pumpkin pie spice, just whatever I have that's gonna make it taste really a lot like fall. A little more salt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some brown sugar in there, but you can add any sugar. If you don't wanna add any sugar to this, you don't have to, but I love the taste of some sweetness in there. Just to bring out the natural sweetness of the sweet potatoes. And then I'm just gonna start to sprinkle things in. I wish I could tell you how much seasoning I put in. It's just not that kind of cooking show, okay? I'm just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in there. And then I'm also gonna do some pumpkin pie spice because the more it tastes like Thanksgiving, the better. Just a little. Do you see the color of that? Basically, it's like a hot soup of sweet potato pie. And I actually made some, I'll take you along with me next time, but I made this rosemary bread that was so quick and easy. I will share that with you another time. I was tempted to just grab a loaf of bread from our Publix bakery. Um, and I was like, okay, if it's on sale, I'll grab it. Cause like, I don't know if I have time to make bread, blah, blah, blah. I haven't bought a loaf of bread literally in probably like six months. But I was like, I'll just grab it. There's no shame in buying bread. <laughs> it's almost like, well, I've come this far. So yeah, um, it was not on sale. So I was like, okay, I'll make it. And I did, and it was really quick and really easy. And I'll share it with you soon. It's time to taste this. It's so good. Once I get my seasoning perfect, then I'm gonna add the heavy cream. And the heavy cream is just going to, I mean, you know what heavy cream does. It makes it taste awesome. If you don't wanna add the heavy cream, don't add it. 
you can make this super healthy, like just sweet potato, sweet potatoes and stock, and that's it. You can even use vegetable stock if you want to make it vegetarian or even vegan. And then of course you leave out the cream in that case. I am going full force deliciousness. I'm gonna add some cream and I've got the sugar and everything. It's just like, come on, baby. YOLO. Fall only comes once a year, so. Tiny bit more salt, a little bit of granulated sugar. It needs more cinnamon. Let's see. Let's see how we're looking now. Boy, oh, I love the swirl of that cinnamon. I'm just playing around with it. This is the fun part. You just get to taste it and make it how you want to eat it. I'm gonna taste it one more time, and then I'll add in the heavy cream. Oh my gosh. It's so full. Now that we've gotten it to a nice simmer, I turned everything on low, everything. I turned the burner on low, and I'm gonna go grab the heavy cream and make this the best thing. It's probably about a quarter cup right there. Now watch that swirl. <laughs> That's so pretty. Is this the color of autumn or what? I cannot stop eating it. It's so good. It's perfect. I'm just gonna let it sit and simmer for a few more minutes. I mean, it's done. You can serve it right now. But I'm going to assemble my grilled cheese, my grilled cheese and smoked turkey sandwiches and get them grilled up while that is simmering. I can't wait. It is time to enjoy our soup. And I'm gonna show you one other thing. I'll take you along on another time for this, but this is our grilled cheese and smoked turkey sandwiches on my rosemary bread, and these are ready to go. So let's ladle this soup out. I just came up with something really cute for the kids. I'm cutting their grilled cheese sandwiches into little hearts. So all you have to do is angle it like this, and then flip it over, and you have a little grilled cheese heart. Oh. For this time of year, fall, which, okay. Hey, we are making sweet potato soup. I'll tell you the best part. Hold on. We're not just having soup like this. You gotta have something to making sweet potato soup. A little bit of smoked turkey in the middle. So, anyway, where were we? I have no idea. So the next thing is we're gonna um, cut up this. Oh wait, no, no, no. No, we gotta cut the tomato. An onion is called an out. Where? And then I'm just gonna dribble, drizzle. Kind of wish I'd gotten chicken stock instead of chicken broth, but. I'm gonna season, whoa, whoops, spilled. A little bit more cinnamon, I think, or I don't know. I don't know, I thought it was.